how did you first meet? He sent me a note and said, hey, I'm going to go, you know, to the store and I'm going to grab candy for the trick-or-treaters. Do you want to come? And I said, okay, yeah, sure. About eight hours later, uh, we were still hanging out and still having fun, and he kissed me. And I was like, okay, we'll see how this plays out. So, <laughs> and uh, what is it, 17 years later almost, uh, we have three kids. <laughs> I don't think that there is a single point in my relationship with Max where I would have predicted him coming out as a trans man. He actually came home and saw that I was upset, and he could tell that I had been upset for a bit, and he just kind of hovered around me, um, and we were, I was laying on the couch, and he just, you know, sat down next to the couch on the floor and kind of you know, was in my space and trying to, with, but also giving me space. And without asking, you know, what was wrong, I could tell that he was wanting to know what was going on. And uh, we have, for a long time, uh, had an ongoing joke between us. Because, you know, he likes some things that are a little bit more feminine. We have a lot of things in common, that kind of thing. So I would make jokes that he's gay. I just, you know, kind of gathered myself up mentally and I looked at him and I said, you know you're gay, right? And he like kind of looked at me and he goes, yeah, I mean, that's the joke. I'm gay. Ha ha. Like, what's going on? And I said, no, you're gay. You're married to a man. And he goes, oh, okay and that was it that that was his big reaction that was what i had spent you know hours kind of psyching myself up for and it was okay there is there's something about him being trans that does not i, I will never understand because i'm i'm cis um but in in him coming out, it made so much about him and his personality makes so much more sense. And in the last year and a half, I don't think I've ever seen him happier um, than he is now. Um, in all the time that we were together, um, to be able to see him be his himself, his true self in the last year and a half, um, I feel like has made our relationship um, feel that much stronger and that much truer. I was confused and surprised at first. Um, it was not something that I really had thought was coming. It certainly, for me, it didn't change. It didn't change our relationship. Um, it changes our the pronouns. It changes, you know, calling him a wife to calling him a husband. Um, but as far as the person that I'm with, I fell in love with Max, and he happened to be a woman. Um, when he came out to me, I was, I was and still am in love with Max. Um, the person's not really all that different. How he treats me has, has stayed the same. Uh, and in some ways, I find that it's been upsetting to me because I'm like, you're treating me like a girl. And he's just treating me like me. It's difficult to treat him as a man when there are also aspects of his body that I find incredibly attractive because they're feminine. Um, and his, his body dysmor dys dysphoria does not, uh, does not work very well with that. So uh, I tried to it's like I'm, I'm constantly trying to remind myself to avoid certain parts of his body, um, which certainly makes being sexually engaged more difficult. 20 or 10 years ago, I definitely would not have predicted that I would be, uh, I would be a man. 
I just, it wasn't even an option. 